Hello friends, today we are going to study about hydrogen bond. Before we learn about hydrogen bond, we should understand about stabilizing interactions. Stabilizing interaction is a type of a molecular interaction. Molecular interaction can be of two types, one attractive and one is repulsive. In our biological system, we have biomolecules. These biomolecules are stabilized with the help of these molecular interactions or stabilizing interactions. If the interaction is attractive in nature, it stabilizes the biomolecule. That means it helps to maintain the biomolecule in its native conformation. If the attraction is repulsive in nature, it destabilizes the biomolecules. Now, these forces happen mostly between non-bonded atoms. For example, as we already studied in the previous videos that two atoms are bonded due to either covalent bond or ionic bond. Ionic bond is formed due to transfer of electrons and covalent bond is formed due to sharing of electrons. So these two bonds, covalent and ionic bonds are responsible to bond two atoms. Now, for example, suppose this is one atom and this is another atom. It is bonded by covalent bond because we already studied that covalent bond is a predominant bond in a biological system. So if these two atoms are bonded by a covalent bond, now this atom can be a part of a molecule. Like this. That means this is molecule 1 which contains three atoms. This is molecule two, again containing three atoms. So this is a covalent bond, which helps to bind these two molecules. Now, if any interaction happens between this molecule and this molecule, this is mainly due to stabilizing interactions. This is not a covalent bond interaction, okay? So stabilizing interactions mainly happen between two non-bonded atom, this atom, and this atom, these two are the non-bonded atom. So when any interaction happens between two non-bonded atom, it is mainly happen because of stabilizing interactions and it helps to stabilize the three-dimensional structure of a molecule. Okay. These bonds are weaker than covalent bonds. Correct. Here in the table, we see there are four types of non-covalent interactions or stabilizing interactions. That is hydrogen bond, ionic interaction, hydrophobic interaction and van der Waal forces. The bond energy of hydrogen bond is 12 to 30 kilojoule per mole. Ionic interaction is 6 to 25 kilojoule per mole. Hydrophobic interaction is less than 40 kilojoule per mole. And for van der Waal, it is 0.4 to 4 kilojoule per mole. Correct. So these are the stabilizing interactions that help to stabilize a macromolecule or biomolecules. Correct. And these are formed between two non-bonded atoms. Okay. Or the molecules are mostly bonded in a biological system with the help of a covalent bond. Now, when the two molecules are bonded due to covalent bond, in that molecule, if any non-bonded atoms are also interacting, that is mainly due to these stabilizing interactions. So today we'll study about first stabilizing interaction that is hydrogen bond. Now if you see the structure of water molecule, this is one molecule of water. This is the second molecule of water. In the first molecule of water, oxygen, which is partially negative charged, is bonded with hydrogen, which has a partial positive charge. The bond between this negatively charged oxygen and this positively charged hydrogen, this is known as hydrogen bond. Now, this bond is electrostatic in nature. Why? Because oxygen carries partial negative charge and hydrogen carries partial positive charge. Due to this, it has electrostatic interaction. Now, why they can form this interaction? Because of this oxygen. Because oxygen is more electronegative in nature, it pulls the shear pair of electron towards itself. Due to which in this water molecule, Oxygen carries partial negative charge and hydrogen gains partial positive charge. Correct? Because hydrogen gained partial positive charge, therefore it can interact with the other oxygen molecule which gained partial negative charge. So it happened because of the electronegative nature of oxygen atom in a water molecule. Correct? So 
this as this bond is a covalent bond hence we can say the hydrogen bond is 90% electrostatic in nature and 10% covalent in nature so what is hydrogen bond it is a bond between two electronegative atom here oxygen here also oxygen actually it is a bond between these two oxygen atom which is bridged by this hydrogen atom correct so what is a hydrogen bond it is actually a bond between two electronegative atom here also oxygen here also oxygen which is bridged by a hydrogen atom correct here one atom acts as an hydrogen donor and one acts as a hydrogen acceptor this oxygen is acting as a hydrogen donor and this oxygen is acting as a hydrogen acceptor understood so hydrogen bond is a bond which is formed between two electronegative atom bridged by a hydrogen atom now what are the factors that affect the strength of hydrogen bonding the first factor is angle between donor and acceptor the maximum strength of an hydrogen bond we can see if the angle is 180 degree here in the figure you can see this is the structure of an alpha helix this is the structure of a beta sheets in both the cases the angle here is 180 degree correct so one atom is donating if one atom is donating hydrogen and other atom is accepting hydrogen if this angle is 180 degree then the hydrogen bond will be in its maximum strength as the angle decreases the strength also decreases as we see in a parallel beta sheets okay so angle plays a very important role in strengthening the hydrogen bond if the angle is 180 degree the hydrogen bond will be in its maximum strength as the angle decreases the strength also decreases next is nature of donor and acceptor the strength would be maximum when the electronegativity of donor is high than acceptor if the donor of hydrogen atom is an oxygen atom and the acceptor is nitrogen atom then the bond will be more strong compared to when the donor is nitrogen atom but in case of biological system if we see mostly it is the nitrogen atom that donates hydrogen and oxygen atom which accepts the hydrogen here also in the protein structure and here also in the nucleotide structure okay bond length if the bond length is lesser the bond strength will be more why because hydrogen bond is a weak bond so if we increase the bond length it will break off correct so again the same if the hydrogen is donated by oxygen then it has lesser bond length and therefore will be more stable compared to when hydrogen is donated by nitrogen atom but again in the biological system we find mostly the hydrogen atom is donated by nitrogen atom now hydrogen bonds can be of two type inter and intramolecular intermolecular means when the bond is present between two neighboring molecules intra means when the bond is present within the molecule intramolecular hydrogen bond is less stable as compared to the intermolecular hydrogen bond the examples for intramolecular hydrogen bond are water double stranded dna cellulose etc whereas for intramolecular hydrogen bond the examples are right handed alpha helix charged etc okay so it's a very small topic that's all for hydrogen bonding now one question from my end for you all that is you have to write in the comment section what is the importance of hydrogen bonding in a biological system if you found the video informative please do like share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for the next video notification till then stay safe stay happy